Alrighty, so movie review this time a double feature because I want I got stuff in the library to watch again, and I got these courtesy of the interlibrary loan system. So I have Alone in the Dark, the unrated director's cut. If it'll pan in on it, there we go. And I got Battleship. So this one, I kind of like it. Even though I know everybody hates Yui Bowl. It's just funny as hell. Everybody hates him. And of course this has the... This is the DVD copy. Pretty DVD. Oh, that's rich. And it is actually in decent shape. It's scratched, but it still plays. So, there's that. Do do do. Yeah, I've watched this so many times on sci-fi. This movie comes on TV every once in a blue moon. And I'd always caught, like, the middle towards the end. Or I caught the beginning to the middle and then never finished it. So I rented it to watch it. And it's okay. I just I kind of feel indifferent about it, you know? Like, it's... You don't hate the movie or love the movie, but it's, you know, it's in between there. Some people just straight up fucking hate it. Ooh, that tasted tender. And then we got Battleship. This came from Queen Anne's County. This is the Blu-ray. Some branches actually have Blu-ray in stock, so that's nice. This was actually good. Ooh, glare. Woo! And the disc is actually clean, but the problem I had with it, it wouldn't recognize on my console, so that kind of irritated me. So I wrote a note to put it inside of it and all that. Oh, I didn't watch the alternate ending. Oh, that's right. I'm buying this. That's right. Because I did enjoy this. This was really good. When I watched it the first time through, uh... I liked it, but didn't feel hardcore about it. Now I like it, and I'm semi-hardcore about it. So it's good. It's, it's actually pretty good. I'd give it a good, you know, a decent 8.2 out of 10. Because I rate, I rate my movies on, like, the 10 scale. <laughs> so I give that about an 8.2 out of 10. I give this about... Um, uh, hmm. I'll be fair. I'll give it a 5.7 out of 10. Like, if you... This movie is good. Like, if you... If you enjoy a movie that is... Gutted and straight to the point... And doesn't really explain a lot... This is the kind of movie for you. However, if you aren't into video game adaptation films like Resident Evil or Doom or um, it's another one, Blood Rain, uh, and Alone in the Dark is based off a video game and it was adapted into a movie, so ta-da! Uh, this ain't for you. <laughs> um, also, let me explain the interlibrary loan system because maybe you don't know about that or never heard of it. What that is, um, you, it, it involves your entire state. If your state has this, that's cool. What you do is, uh, well, for me in Maryland, I have Marina, and that allows me to tap all 23 branches within Maryland, within the whole state of Maryland. 23 library branches. I found this out because I've raided Marina many times. Oh, man. To get comic books, movies, uh visual guides, uh, visual dictionaries, art books. You can reserve anything. It's so cool. And these, well, let me see. This is from my branch. Carol. No, that's from Cecil County. My bad. I thought it said Carol at first. So this is from Cecil County, and this is from Queen Anne's County. When you get these, it takes about seven... Yeah, about seven to ten days to get in because, you know, they got to come from their county branch and then they have to come up to Carroll County where I'm at. 
And when you rent these, you get to keep them for three whole weeks. Three weeks. No joke. I'm not kidding. Three whole weeks. Which is nice. But if they get reserved, you know, you return them so you don't get a fine and shit. And the best part is you can I can tap into 23 branches and the marina system will search all 23 branches and find what I'm looking for. And if they don't find it, I get a letter in the mail saying uh, such and such a title wasn't available at any location. Sorry, it's, you know, it's unavailable. So I'm like, shit, I have to get off of Amazon or eBay then. Or I go to FYE and try to find it for cheap, <clears throat> depending on what it is. Um, yeah, you can get books, CDs, movies, games, too. Games can come through here, too. Um, I, did, I think I said CDs. Yeah, so you can get books, CDs, movies, games. Um, I think that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> Shame we didn't have Marina back in the day. I could have gotten cassette tapes and VHS tapes like a motherfucker. Whew, fun. Um, yeah, and most branches, well, not most, some branches in my area have Blu-ray as well. So there's Blu-ray to choose from as well. And the Blu-ray discs are actually in good condition for the most part. Barely any scratches. Most of them play straight through. The DVDs are usually scratched, and most of them, I'd say 85% play. And then there's that little 15% batch that skips now and then. So, yeah. And at my library, um, I've noticed that Different libraries have limitations on how much you can take out. At my library, when it comes to movies, you can rent up to 25 movies at a time. Let me repeat that. You can check out 25 movies at one time. And you're probably sitting there like, who the hell does that? This motherfucker here! <laughs> I've done that many times. 25 DVDs. And that includes games as well. So if you have like a mixture of games and movies that totals 25, you can check them out. And they'll be due back within a week. Now, you know, I've had, now they have the new ones. Like if this was, if this was new, there'd be a new sticker up at the top. And you can only have that for a week and you can't renew it. So... <laughs> You can check it out for a week, but you have to return it within a week. Yeah, I've checked out many, many things. I've I told you what I've checked out, like books, movies, comics, all that good shit. And it's fun. Like it's nice to raid that whole interlibrary loan system out of twenty three branches in my area and get all this good stuff. Like there's I've gotten so much. I've gotten oh so much. And I've gotten fines in the process because I didn't keep track of the due dates, so it's not too bad. But yeah, yeah, the interlibrary loan system for Maryland, phenomenal. I love it. Um, as for renting books, <clears throat> ooh, excuse me, books and CDs, that has an unlimited number to it. There's no cap on it. You could check out a hundred books or audiobooks as well. I forgot about audiobooks. I kind of count CDs with audiobooks, but yeah. So you can check out as many of them as you'd like, and there's no limitation on that shit. Um, so yeah, that's fun. <laughs> so sorry to ramble about you know my interlibrary loan system, but I figure you know I take the opportunity to explain something fun that I cherish and love the most about my. Uh, state that I live in and my library because it's fun. So, would I recommend these two to my friends? Of course, I try. Some of my friends don't like Yui Bowl. Some of them are iffy on Battleship. Would I recommend it to you? Try them out. See how you feel. If you like Christian Slater, and if you like Christian Slater or Tara Reid or Stephen Dwarf, you know, shit, this might be a movie you like. You never know. 
If you like military films like Battleship with Liam Nielsen, who says he's going to find you and he's going to give you a hug and shit, this might be for you. It's got Taylor uh, Kitsch. No, that's not his name. That is his name, but I can't say it right. Fudge. Yeah, Taylor Kitsch. Okay. And it's got Alexander Skarsgård in that, better known as, um, shit. He was in True Blood. I don't remember his name in True Blood. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Uh, and then they got Rihanna. I'm actually surprised she wasn't on the soundtrack. That was interesting. I will say, this does feel like a Michael Bay film, and I thought it was a Michael Bay film, but... Plot twist, it's a Peter Berg film. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's my review on Alone in the Dark, Unrated Director's Cut, and Battleship. And this is 14 years old, and this is 4 years old from 2015. So, 2005 and 2015. 10 years apart between them. So, until next time, like and subscribe. Thoughts and prayers.